I would like to, to uh, uh, invite, uh, yeah, kind of Icron. Yeah. So uh, up to you. All right. Thank you, and hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Janar Tashkin. I'm Micron CTO. I also have an academic background. Uh, I'm a professor of operations research at Boaz University. And there's one more thing about me. I'm the last obstacle between you and a nice lunch. So uh, bear with me. <laughs> um, so Martin actually started today uh, by explaining a relatively recent history of SNOP, and uh, it was a very good uh, introduction to how SNOP has been evolving. And I would like to think of it in the context of the evolution of digital uh, transformation that we are in. And uh, as I see this, actually the C is changing. So we have gone through a number of steps. So the whole thing actually started with uh, digitalization, where the focus was on taking an existing business process and making sure that it works digitally. And then the next phase was, was digital transformation, where the focus was still on business processes, but how can we redefine business processes to make them better using digital technology? How can we eliminate certain uh, processes? How can we add new processes, etc.? But now, I think in the last maybe five, six years, we are starting to see a third phase uh, of this whole thing, where the business model itself is changing uh, as a result of the usage of digital uh, technology. So I like to call this uh, phase digital innovation, where uh, innovation is all around, and it's also a part of going hand in hand with uh, digital technologies. Now, there are a few trends uh, that uh, I've been seeing in many uh, different industries across our customers, also in my academic research, and uh, they can actually be in there is like four uh, of them. The, the first one is uh, what I like to call technology implant. Now, earlier in the pre previous decade or so, uh, the technology was more of a support function uh, to business. So it was like there was the, the actual business and then there was technology that's supporting this. But with the advancements of the digital technology and the changes of uh, how the business model is built around digital technology, the new products, now nowadays we all use uh, not simple cell phones, but we use personal communication devices like platforms. We don't drive just cars, we actually drive computers. So if you think about this, how the business and technology are merging uh, together, I like to call this the technology implant. And uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is appearing in many industries, and especially companies that are rebuilding their business model around this uh, are uh, taking a lead uh, in this area. Another trend that I see is about uh, how different things that used to be really different in, in different silos with different organizational units, even different companies within a group, are now merging. And you know, f there's a fusion and also an expansion uh, type of thing going on on different uh, areas. And one of them is in traditional uh, supply chain, there was the, uh, the procurement, and then there was uh, logistics and uh, management, there was distribution, uh, and possibly these were uh, handled by separate companies within the same group or different organizational units. But now we have an end-to-end -end, uh, view of the supply chain. That's what we need. And uh, the other, another uh, thing is about, uh, basically, uh, actually, Swan mentioned this quite a bit of times. So we used to think of planning and execution as two separate things. Now we, are, we actually think of them uh, together in a continuous response. So I make a plan, but I also look around what's happening. I get the signals, and I revise the plan continuously. So uh, one of the flavors that we have been seeing more and more is, uh, of SNOP is SNOE and how SNOP and SNOE should work together. And uh, there was earlier a discussion, so we will have a nice uh, lunch uh, discussion about that, I think, with Shuan. And same thing in uh, retail, so omni-channel to multi-channel. And uh, basically, everything is co coming together, and uh, areas, blurred areas are uh, disappearing. Another thing is about uh, customer centricity. Now, uh, earlier there were different silos, different business functions, and everybody was trying to improve their own KPIs. Everybody was trying to do what's best uh, within their boundaries and control. But uh, we are seeing more and more outside-in processes and customer focus. So we need to be able to understand you know, what I'm doing here at procurement. How does it impact the customer eventually after maybe two months of lead time or whatever, multiple layers of bill of material and uh, s several transformations, etc. So everything, we have to start looking from a customer point of view and outside-in. So that's also a trend that I've been seeing around. And the last one, and especially that's uh, relevant for today, is uh, about how uh, we are changing from a business intelligence focus to a decision uh, intelligence focus. Now, the business intelligence uh, f focuses on 
what happened in the past and where am I uh, right now. So it's about the past and the present and using digital technologies to actually get an accurate representation of the past and real-time information about what's happening now. And uh, the focus is more on dashboards and uh, making sure that real-time data flow uh, works and we can capture what's happening, etc. But the focus uh, is becoming more and more on decisions about the future. So uh, what are possible features, scenario planning, and understanding predictions about the future, etc., and what we can do about it. So that's the essence of uh, what we have been, you know, as supply chain professionals, called, called planning, anyways. But that has become, especially with the COVID and the changes in digital technology, it has become more and more important. So. Now, uh, I'd like to spend some more time in diving deeper into how this decision concept and how it relates with uh, SNOP. Now, starting with the definition of decision. I mean, we all use it, we all uh, intuitively understand what it is, but uh, it's not very easy to accurately and concisely define what a decision is. Now, this is my personal uh, definition. We, we may have discussions about this, but I like to think of a decision as uh, basically something that you commit to, not just think about or just project, but something that you commit to and make an action uh, about, and some kind of allocation of resources. That is, you make a commitment today, and it's not very easy to change it later on. So when I'm talking about resources, it's not only manufacturing resources or human resources or things like that, but also in the more general setting of uh, resource as in budget, resource as in time, resource as in capacity, resource as in opportunity. Like there's an opportunity, if you take it, okay. If you don't take it now, that might also disappear over time. So the concept of resource is uh, quite general. And within the context of SNOP, we do a lot of decision making. Now, the decision intelligence is a science, a multidisciplinary uh, science of uh, making decisions better. Now, uh, it has impact and it has uh, roots in multiple areas like artificial intelligence, like operations research, like, like statistics, machine learning, etc. And uh, in decision uh, intelligence, the basic idea is to make sure that we, the correct business decisions are made. The technology and the underlying mathematics is not the focus. The focus is on making sure that the correct business decisions are made, supported by technology. That's uh, how we view this. And in a mathematical setting, eventually, it boils down to there's a number of business decisions that I need to make. These are my constraints and limitations, and these are the things that I can change, like my levers. I can turn it on, turn this off, increase the capacity, decrease capacity, whatever it is. And I want to find the best combination of these to create the best possible decisions that's uh, best uh, for the uh, community. And uh, techniques like prediction and scenario planning also uh, come into uh, this area. Now, this is something that uh, is, has been on the rise, uh, even though uh, bits and pieces of this discipline appeared, has, has been appearing in, in the uh, relatively distant history, uh, just like machine learning. Machine learning is not something new, but it has become very useful uh, recently. Decision intelligence is uh, also like that, and decision intelligence is uh, quite on the rise. So these are from uh, Gartner, the last recent uh, hype cycles. The one on the left is about uh, planning technologies, and the one on the right is about the artificial intelligence. So it's a multidisciplinary area, and decision intelligence is uh, on the rise in, in both of them, especially within the context of SNOP, because SNOP requires a lot of decision-making in a very difficult environment. Why? Well, practitioners know more than I do about this, obviously, but it's a very complex decision environment, so you need to actually work with multiple decision-makers, come up in a group uh, decision-making setting, also try to deal with human decision-making biases. We all uh, have biases uh, about things like uh, fallacies, like uh, if you have actually made the decision prior, it's very difficult to make that decision change. So the co sunk cost fallacy, etc. So these are all uh, known things also about uh, human uh, beings. But there's also a lot of data. There's millions of data com coming uh, around, and you need to actually combine uh, the data together in an optimal setting that is best for the decision uh, for the entire uh, business. And there is a lot of uh, scenarios that you need to work into account. And so it's a very complex uh, decision environment. So SNOP, uh, with the support of decision intelligence, is actually a very uh, good environment so that high quality 
business decisions are made accurately. That's uh, basically the uh, underlying technology. And as Icron, uh, we have been working on this space uh, since our inception. And we have a decision uh, platform, Icron 4D uh, decision uh, platform. Uh, it has the underlying technical capabilities to support optimal decision making. Again, the focus is not on the underlying technology like the AI, machine learning, operations research, optimization, etc. We all have those, but the focus is to make best business decisions. So uh, basically, it's, a, uh, it's an environment where the correct uh, underlying technology exists uh, so that the decisions are uh, made correctly. And it's a no-code environment, so uh, we have been hearing about different uh, flavors and different requirements that is industry-specific and that's company-specific. So we have a no-code environment to build uh, those additional uh, requirements into uh, the software without actually changing the code or anything like that. So we can do a lot of things in, in the implementation uh, projects. And uh, this, depending on the customer requirements, the software can be deployed on premises or on the cloud or anywhere uh, in between, uh, basically. And our product focus is on uh, supply chain. Uh, we have end-to-end -end supply chain process coverage, decision process coverage from demand planning all the way down to daily operational scheduling, including sales and operations planning and its flavors. Uh, and we also have support for uh, the end-to-end -end supply chain from retail to uh, manufacturing and the customer-centric approach that I mentioned, so making sure that anything, any decision made, how this impacts uh, the customer. We have a, a global pegging engine uh, that allows uh, people to understand basically the impact of decisions from the customer point of view. So each decision is automatically linked to the uh, customers. So with that, uh, I think it's time for a good lunch. So uh, thank you very much. So uh, now it's uh, time for lunch. So we, we have one hour for lunch. Um, the lunch, you, you will get the lunch the, over there, but take it outside. So uh, we, uh, we are starting uh, at uh, um, uh, one forty-five sharp. So I will be kicking off to make sense of the world of IT in, in SNOP. So that's uh, after the break, after lunch, I will pick it up. So this will be opening up, like you see here. So the lunch will be served right after this. And take the lunch outside, please, uh, in the lobby. And um, make sure, you know, have your meal, have your lunch. And uh, do, do uh, uh, ask questions to, to uh, the partners if you have any uh, questions to the, the ones pitching and the ones who will be pitching. For now, uh, have a nice lunch. And see you uh, back right in an hour sharp. So 1.45, be sharp. I will be there. And, uh, you know, have a bon appetit. <laughs>